Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to remove a seized and stubborn lawnmower blade adapter. So I've got this lawnmower here. It actually runs good, but look at the body. It's all rotted. Check this out, man. It's rotted right through. So I went to take the engine off, but the blade adapter stuck on and I cannot pull the engine. So I'll flip it over. It's got a huge blade adapter here. It's not gonna go through the hole here. So I will show you how to remove that. It is definitely seized. Now you're gonna to have to flip your mower over like this to do that. So try to flip it with the air filter up, the carburetor up and the air filter up if you can. Because if you don't, you may get some gas in the air filter and sometimes you'll even get some oil in some rare cases. Now what you could also do is drain your machine of all the fluids before removing the adapter. So the first thing I do when I'm about to remove a seized blade adapter is I spray some penetrating oil right inside here and also at the back, right back here. Now if you do spray it at the back here and you flip the mower back upright, it will allow it to go down the cracks uh, between the shaft and the adapter better. Now the first thing I do is put a bolt inside here. And I always put a bolt that was smaller than the actual hole where the blade bolt went. So it'll go right to the bottom. And most times I'll use a two jaw puller like this where I would actually grab the adapter like that. So the two jaws would be locking in on each side. However, in this adapter here, I've got two holes. So I will be taking advantage of that. Sometimes the two jaw puller slips off the adapter. So today I'm gonna to show you how to do it this way and then I'll show you how to remove another seized adapter using the two jaw puller. So today I'll be using a harmonic balancer puller. So you want it on like that. Then I'm going to get these bolts into the holes. And then what I'll be doing is putting the nuts on the other side. So make sure you have them in the full length of the nut here. And now what I'll do is tighten up the puller slowly. Now make sure you've got the bolt here right in the center of your puller. Sometimes the bolt can tend to fall off the puller, so keep an eye on that. Everything is secure back there. You can wear safety glasses if you want. And now what you want to do is tighten up your puller slowly. Hopefully the adapter will come loose. And I've decided to actually wear a glove here and some safety glasses. So now you have to hold the engine so that it doesn't turn when you're trying to tighten up the, the puller. So if you're hitting a snag like I am right now, or even the puller won't do it, you're going to need to heat up the blade adapter. So as you can see here, the adapter is not budging at all. It's actually bending the bolt. So what I'm going to do is get the acetylene torch out and I will heat the exterior of the blade adapter and it should come off quite easily after that. Okay, so at this point I will use the oxyacetylene and I will heat this up. I have put a shorter bolt here and also a good tip here guys, if you don't have an impact to tighten this up and you end up having to hold this is you can lock it in like this with another wrench. And if you're going to do this, make sure you have removed all the fuel from your machine, guys. So I'm turning it slowly to heat up everything. And try not to heat the shaft because you don't want the seal to get too hot. And now we'll just tighten up the puller again.
And now it is coming off. Maybe my bolt is too short. Okay, so I will put back the longer bolt in there. And I've got my leather gloves here because this is extremely hot. And it is coming off easily. Et voila. So this adapter is still good. I will save that. And now I can save the engine and get it out of the old body. If you're concerned about the oil seal getting hot during the process, you can throw some cold water there. So it wasn't too bad. And now I'm just going to remove this adapter here using the two jaw puller. Again, I'm putting a bolt in there. Now you want to get the jaws at the bottom here. And now just try to hold the jaws with your hand if you can and just tighten up the puller. If it gets a bit hard to hold it with your hands, just put a wrench in there. Now this adapter is seized, so I will need to heat it. If you don't have oxycetylene, sometimes map gas will do. That pop you heard is because I've got pressure with the puller and the adapter is getting loose on the shaft. It was that quick. And it's coming out. And I'll put a bit more water here to make sure that the seal is not overheated. Now I don't always need the torches, but today I needed it for both of them. And believe me, if you do have oxyacetylene, it will save your bacon all the time. And you're not going to destroy stuff taking it apart. So hopefully my video has helped you. If it has, please like it and share it with your friends. And I do want to recommend guys that if you do a lot of small engine repairs, that you get yourself a good set of oxyacetylene torches. It will save the day all the time. Thanks again for watching and make sure you're subscribed and have a great day.